Yo, what is going on guys and welcome to what is a brand new series here on FIFA 20. As you can tell by the title and the thumbnail and even on the screen, we are starting a career mode series with Nottingham Forest and we are emulating the great man which is Brian Clough. Probably one of my, well he is one of my favourite managers of all time along with the likes of Shankly, along with the likes of obviously Jurgen Klopp, Sir Alex Ferguson and the like. So we are focusing on Brian Clough's time with Nottingham Forest which started on the 6th of January 1975, only 12 weeks after he got sacked from um, Leeds United after that 44 day spell which was a disaster. Um, in the time that uh, Brian Clough uh, was at Nottingham Forest. They actually managed to win it two European Cups um, in 1979 and 1980. Uh, 1980. Um, two League Cups in 1978 uh, and 1979, I believe, and uh, also reached the, an FA Cup final in 1991. And uh, so, but Clough, uh, Clough stayed on at the time until 1993, and uh, it was the time where he um, decided to retire following the club's relegation from the newly Premier League um, but yeah so what we're going to do obviously we are going to do a series in which my aim is to win two Champions Leagues and emulate what Brian Clough and Peter Taylor did at their time at Nottingham Forest so obviously we want to win one but we also want to win a second and do what the club actually did. So if you see at the top left hand side of your corner, yeah, obviously you see Brian Clough, Nottingham Forest, but you also see the badge for Forest and you see two stars. And those two stars represent the two Champions Leagues uh, that, that's known today, but Euro uh, European Cups back then. So by the end of this series, we want to have four for the club's name. Two for myself or as Brian Clough and two that Brian uh, won in 1979 and 1980. Anyway, in today's episode we are going to be doing the admin side and like setting up the um, setting up the career mode. Uh, there's not going to be any gameplay in this episode. Um, I have decided not to do the preseason tournament because I just don't think it's needed. I've played enough of FIFA 20 to know how it plays. So we're going to obviously, when you do see the first gameplay, it is going to be the first game of the season. Before we get into the like the admin side of it, I will show you if I had a go at making Brian. Obviously, it's very difficult. The hair is just totally wrong because he doesn't have like his flamboyant well it's not flamboyant but it's like a full hair where it's like quite out there everything's too organized in this i had to go at making his face completely like i completely mucked up i had a good like half an hour trying to make it it doesn't work and outfits wise it's a shame that there isn't a uh, green sweater uh, with a then uh, like a red shirt there is a red shirt but I decided to do it as much red as I can because in the picture, obviously the thumbnail, uh, holding well next to the European Cup, um, he is wearing a Nottingham Forest uh, uh, sports jacket. But the, unfortunately, I don't believe there's any sports jackets where you could have the club crest. I might be wrong though. I don't think there's a red one because there is one here, the club tracksuit jacket, but it's black. Do I want that instead? Or do I want to just go for what I... You know, I'm just going to go with what I want. Uh, so we're going to give him a nice red tie. Do I have a red striped tie? It's red and white of Nottingham Forest. Yeah, you know what, that'll do. So we'll advance and um, get that done. But anyway, enough about that because you probably won't see the manager much on the sidelines unless there's been like a good goal or anything. But we are going to get into this career mode. So let's get going. So... Already you can see the transfer budget's not too bad. One thing that Brian and Peter Taylor oh, at that time they tried to do was bring in exciting British talents. That's something that I'm going to do today. I'm going to try and stay clear of any foreign players. So try and keep in line with the philosophy back then. Obviously back then the norm was British players in the 70s and 80s. Um, obviously it's like in the 90s and, and the noughties. Um, that uh, foreign players have become like a trend obviously in the Premier League now 
I would say it's about 70% uh, foreign players. So I want to try and keep it um, quite British. Obviously, in this series, we are going to be, first of all, trying to battle to get out of the Championship and into the Premier League. Then we want to obviously be trying to push towards those Championship, uh, well, not well, Championship places, obviously, like uh, the the Premier League title but we want to be getting into Europe then obviously in the Champions League we want to win it and then we need to try and win it again we need to try and emulate Brian Clough this series will not end or yeah this series will not end until we won two Champions League titles which is going to take a while so that's why I've started at the start of FIFA 20 and it's going to run throughout the course probably of FIFA 20 it's going to be interesting and uh, every episode where there's gameplay I'm going to be doing two games so there's going to be plenty of episodes for you guys to watch but anyway let's get into it so we first of all we need to look at the notifications um, so we have a scout report don't really need that um, another scout report our vision and expectations this is something that we are going to be looking at so this is our overview so youth development sign a player to the youth academy assigned to our forward position I am going to do that I am going to assign or uh, hire a youth scout that will spend, uh, actually I might hire three and then one can go to Scotland, one can go to Wales or Ireland um, and obviously one stay in England and try and find the best British talents uh, so that's fine and also sign one youth player to the senior squad a senior team uh, in the same season they are scouted play them in at least 10 matches either coming off the bench or in the starting lineup that's fine gain 10.8 um, million pounds earnings from shirt sales that should be all right if we sign someone that's quite a big name um then i can see that like getting done so that's not too bad these are medium priorities sorry i didn't say anything <laughs> um so financial is luckily low so i don't really need to do that too much keep the player salary growth under 15 percent obviously we're going to be looking into player salaries and their like release clauses in a second uh, domestic success it is to win the championship this season that's our aim to get out of the championship get into the Premier League as soon as possible and reach the round of 32 stage in the Emirates FA Cup I'd like to go on cup runs because like I said at the start um, under under Brian Clough and Peter Taylor um, Nottingham Forest won two League Cups or Carabao Cups as they're now known and they actually reached a FA Cup final if I can um, emulate and better Brian Club by winning an FA Cup, fantastic. And continental success is very low right now because we're not in Europe. So it's probably if we if we win the FA Cup this season, we go into the Europa League. That could be something that could hinder us. So maybe cup uh, competitions this season probably not uh, that important. Um, I might play youngsters, give them a chance because in this FIFA on career mode uh, there's team morale more and there's player morale so it's about keeping everyone happy keeping a very good team and that's one thing that Forrest did they had such a great camaraderie great team morale because they hardly trained back then Brian was in insistent that they didn't actually train much and if they were if players were found to actually do some extra training by themselves he would come down hard at them because he said if I give you a day off you, you take a day off you do nothing you just relax so that's very important um, other than that that one the shirt sales we've already gone over anyway so that is the office uh, done so the next thing that we want to do is go into the squad up so as you can see that yellow icon saying at the moment the squad morale is about half that's expectant because it started the season and stuff but anyway let's get into the squad hub and see what sort of players we actually have at our disposal because yes I'm going to be bringing in my own players but I'm also going to be using what is pre-existent at the club so anyway the first player we are going to look at is Luke Steele he's currently on lo out lo on loan to um, Millwall uh, he's 34 I'm just going to keep him out on loan he, he's clearly not good enough for this team then we go on to Pantelamon, the ex-Manchester City player. He's 32 years of age now, but the the thing that I like about him, he's he's six foot eight. He's massive. So I think for this season, Pantelamon is going to stay. And then along with him, we've actually got three other keepers. So it's interesting to see who we keep and who we get rid of. Uh, we've got Murek, who I believe is he on loan? No, he's actually joined from. Um, Manchester City I think at the age of 20 we could train him up I love how he's got his game face because if any of you guys know me I love players that have actually got their game face and look like them so Pantelamon is staying because he's got that plus he's actually a very good keeper for the championship Jordan Smith I'm not worried about 
um, and Bamba I'm not worried about so at this stage we've got two players yes they're not British but it doesn't matter obviously down the line I'm going to be signing British players so maybe Pantomon for this season is good enough and then once we get to the Premier League then we'll try and upgrade maybe someone like Butland but Butland would be amazing I might even look at him um, as a possibility um, this summer who knows uh, but Murek, I'm very happy with. 68 rating is not bad. 20 years of age, so that means he's got plenty of growth, plenty of potential, which is very nice. Left back, we've got Jack Robinson, and um, he is a ex Liverpool trainee or y youngster. Um, 25 years of age, he can play left back or centre back. He's only got one year on his contract, which is very interesting. But let's have a look at his stats. So stamina is not too bad. Speed's not too bad. Uh, I think that's 70 sprint speed, 74 acceleration. That's not too bad. So about 72 pace. He's not bad, but I think we could do it a bit better. And the other left back is Yuri Ribeiro, um, who has a bit better stats, 22 years of age. But I think left back is a position I want to improve. Get rid of Ribeiro and have Jack Robinson as our backup left back. Uh, Bene Lewin um, is ex Leicester, I believe. Uh, 32 years of age. He's just useless to me. His pace and stamina is awful. Uh, Milosevic, again, is not a good player. He's just not a good player. So, backline already, I need to improve. Uh, Michael Hefele, I believe he's ex Brighton. I want to say, look at those stats, they're awful. So, I'm going to try and get rid of him. Joe Worrell, I do know quite a bit about. His pace isn't too bad stamina is not too bad he spent last season on loan at rangers under steven gerrard um he's young still so i'm going to keep him for now i don't think he's going to be a starter he might be a starter depending on who we get so he can stay uh figure um no <laughs> just no and then there's chema rodriguez who does actually have his face and he does also have a decent card you know not too bad, so he can stay. And Michael Dawson is like, I wouldn't say he's a legend at the club, but he's a very well-known figure. I think he started his uh, career at Nottingham Forest, obviously went on to play for Tottenham for many years, and he's like come back in recent years. I'm going to keep him just because he's one of those players that is a leader of the dressing room. I don't know how much game time he's going to get, but we'll keep him, even though he has dreadful stats. 30 pace, 31 stamina. He might play some cup competition at football. I, I don't know. And then we've got a youngster on loan. I'm going to leave him now. And then we've got Carl Jenkinson, um, ex-Arsenal now. Um, he has, again, he's like Jack Robinson. He has okay stats. Probably a backup. Um, and then we've got Derek Guar, who I actually know in FIFA, in the last few FIFAs, he's been fantastic. That pace of 90 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. I don't like how you, it's, you can hardly actually see what the numbers are but obviously if they're bright green they're good anyway and he's also got 85 stamina so he's my first choice right back we're all right for right backs this season ben watson is one of those players like dawson who has awful stats stamina's not too bad but he's slow do i just keep him for this season i might just keep him in in and around the squad uh, he might play the old game here and then uh, we've got Brickert who is out on loan to Bolton. It's a shame that Bolton don't have their proper kits on here because obviously they had their whole administration problem. Same with Barry on this game. Uh, they're lucky to even be on the game, really. He doesn't have too bad stats, but I might leave him out on loan. We've got Claudio Jakob, ex-West Brom. Again, he's just slow as hell, and I think he's going to be one I get rid of. I do understand that morale in this game plays a huge part, and you can actually have conversations with players to try and pick them up or explain to them why you've listed them. So I'll obviously have to go through that. We've got Samba Sao. I don't know much about. He's got good stamina, but he's 30 years of age. I want to bring in my own talents. Obviously, like I said, British players. Alpha Samedo, uh, I know he's actually got a goal card in uh, Ultimate Team this season. He's not a bad player. I might keep him because he's 21 years of old from Guinea Bissau. Uh, Bissau? Is that how you say it? I don't know. We've also got Ryan Yates, uh, who has very good stamina, but and he's 21 years of age. I might keep him in for this season. You know what? I, I will. We've got John Bostock, who I don't know too much about. To be honest. Oh, he's on loan. You know what? I'm going to terminate his loan. I don't know too much about him. I don't really care too much about him either. We've got Joe uh, Carvalho, who doesn't have the worst stats for a cam. Uh, 
I might be able to get a bit of money for him. We've got Zach Clough, obviously, namesake wise, is the same as Brian Clough. Uh, stamina wise, he's awful. And he doesn't have the greatest card ever. I think I'm going to sell him on as well. Thiago Silva, not that Thiago Silva from PSG, but this Thiago Silva. Portuguese playmaker slash centre mid. He's not great. I'm going to get rid of him. I'm, I'm coming down hard on this team because I, I want the best for this team and I want to build my own team. I want to put stamp my authority on the team. Matty Cash on the other hand is going to be staying. He's a very versatile player. He can play both sides in midfield and he can also play right back if need be. But he's got very good pace and very good stamina so he is going to be staying. We've got Albert Adoma who has just joined from uh, Aston Villa. Um, I might actually keep him for this season. 31 years of age. He could be a useful squad player, uh, if anything. I, I might keep him. He's got his face as well. Sami uh, Amiobi is also a player that I do want to keep. He's got all right pace, uh, or, all right sprint speeds. Acceleration isn't the best. Uh, new to the squad this season. And stamina isn't too bad, but he's a useful player. He's a useful player. But our main winger probably is Joe Lolly. Again, like uh, Matty Cash, he can play multiple positions um, in midfield. But he's got very good stats, very good pace, very good agility, very good stamina. He is staying. Rafa Murr, I've no idea who you are. I'm going to just terminate your loan. Um, we've got Lewis Graben, who is still at the club. 31 years of age, doesn't have great stats, unfortunately. So I do actually believe I'm going to sell him, even though he's got his game face. Tyler Walker is out on loan to Lincoln City, who has very good pace and could be a very quality player in the future. But I'm going to let him stay at the Imps this season. Stay at Central Bank, get some game time, maybe improve. Maybe by the end of the season he'll be about 70 rated. Then it, we can um, usher him into the first team. But he's only a league down right now because Lincoln City got promoted to League One. Um, then it's not a big step down, so we get we will get game time, I'm pretty sure. And then we've got another youngster out on loan. Last thing I want to do is just quickly check if anyone has a release clause. I'm just checking. I don't think anyone does. So that is fantastic. So it means we don't have to renegotiate any contracts at this moment in time. So we've got obviously two messages just saying that I've expired a couple of players loan. So the next thing that I want to do is look into the trainers. So these are like five players that I want to train up during the season. They, they can change throughout the season, but I like to stick with five, train them up for a season. So right now we've only got one striker, and that's Lewis Graben. Um, so let's see. We want Matthew Cash because he's still very young to get some training in each week. Uh, Midfield-wise, we would like probably Ryan Yates. I don't... Did I list up Ryan Yates he's still very young so I might as well train him up regardless we want Joe Worrell to um, definitely get upgraded a bit full backs wise is there any or is there another centre back you know it's Semedo that I, I want to upgrade as well he's still very young and then the last one is for Murek um, who is only 20 like I've said and he should throughout the season go up quite nicely I'm just going to set a training preset so that means I can always switch back to it called youth um, so every every time we're going to train all I have to do is I think press square and then I can load up these five and then I just simulate all not a bad uh, week's training for the first training session under Brian Clough Worrell and uh, Muric the two standout ones for me um, had a good uh, session or good week's training so now, before we um, progress any further, we might... Oh, uh, actually, before we go into looking for players ourselves, we want to add some youth staff. So let's just see if we can get some good staff. So we have this Ollie Thomas, who would cost 1.8 mil, but I believe at this stage it would be very good. Four star, four star for experience and judgment. I think that's worth it. And because he's English, he is going to stay in uh, England for nine months for 300k I know that's about 2.1 mil I've just spent on him alone but trust me it is worth it we've got Northern Ireland um, Sian Fagan I, I don't know how you'd say it in Irish but we are going to take him he's done have the best judgment or um, experience but I think it could be worthwhile for him so should we send him to Northern Ireland or do we send him to the Republic of Ireland I think I'm going to send him to Republic of Ireland. I know that he, like you're thinking, uh, oh, I've only chosen that because 
uh, he's technically just Irish, but and I do obviously understand they are two separate, obviously, nations. And then we are going to spend quite a bit on this last one, Jonathan Griffiths, um, and we are going to send him up to Scotland. Um, so it's not too far, just north of the border, and we'll send him there for nine months. So, yes, we've spent a bit of money. We're down to 14.5 mil, so we spent overall about 4 mil. Um, like sending some scouts away but that's for the whole season and then ne from next season they're still there um, but we just need to send them on a new scout mission so I think it's very important first season to get that stuff in that I'm going to be working with and then we'll see how we go along with that so the next thing we need to start looking for players ourselves so we could look at what the scout report says but I always like to look at players um, for myself so we are actually going to look in the Premier League because obviously that's where we strive to be and we're actually going to look through the positions actually yeah you know what we're going to have a look at Premier League goalkeepers as well because it's definitely a position down the line that we do want to improve and I want to see if there's any of that catch my Carl Darlow depends how much he would actually be um, he's at a good age and he could be a decent rating. Dean Henderson is a good young goalkeeper on loan from Manchester United again for the season for Sheffield United. But obviously he made that error against Liverpool last weekend, which obviously I'm thankful for. Um, I found funny, but I, I do feel for him as well. Is there anyone else today? Alex McCarthy would be good. He's six foot four, but it depends on the price for him. That is the problem. Nick Pope. How much would Joe Hart be? Uh, it says 4.9 mil. Do I try and get Joe Hart for a couple of seasons? Also, I do want to... Not in league earn. I also want to look in the championship for players as well. So each position I want to like spend some time looking at championship and Premier League for players. So we've got Bettinelli, who's 6'4 as well. Um, just relegated from... Uh, with... Uh, Fulham is 27 years of age and he's an English goalkeeper so it's one I could look at and the other one is Jack Butland at this stage they're the only ones I believe I want to look at for now I believe so yeah I, I believe so so now we want to look at left backs I think because right backs were fine we've got Carl Jenkinson and Derek Qua. So let's have a look at left backs now. So we've got Joe Bryan, who had a decent season um, with Fulham, regardless of them getting relegated. Kieran Gibbs, maybe. Decent option. Uh, who else could we look at? Maybe no one else in the Championship, but what about the Premier League? Also, we probably should look at the SPL for players, potentially. Who knows? Baines, unfortunately, doesn't have great stamina or speed anymore. But he would be like a player that would be quite a big signing. Uh, Aaron Creswell? Do, do I think I could bring him down to the championship? Charlie Daniels probably is a bit too slow now. Um, anyone? LaRussi had a very good preseason with Liverpool in real life. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see if he makes his like full debut in, uh, in this season. Kieran Tierney obviously just joined Arsenal from Celtic. Uh, you know what? We've got a couple of options at left back. Um, but next we want to look at centre backs because I believe this is the, could be a defining um, position this season for who we actually go with. Okay, so we want to look at young players. But James Chester, obviously he's British, obviously he's Welsh. Um, 30 years of age, he could be a leader in the dressing room for us. Uh, could be interesting. I am very wary, obviously, with the new morale. I don't know exactly how it works, but if we sign too many players, does like other players get jealous or stuff? So I'm going to be wary of that, but I feel like we do need some players in. Rob Holden, is he a player that would be cheap enough, first of all, for us to sign? Martin Kelly, I'll have a look at as well. <coughs> we want to get some names in there so that we can like scout quite a few players. Tyrone Minks has made his move permanent to Aston Villa after a very good uh, loan spell, which saw, obviously, Aston Villa getting promoted. Um, Jack Simpson as a young option. I do know he's got his game face on there, so I will have a look at him. Jack Stevens, maybe? I don't know. Tomori's having a very good season uh, under Frank Lampard at Chelsea. Obviously played under Lampard at Derby last season. 
Oh, Twansby. Oh, uh, Alex Twansby. He's not on loan this season. He has stayed at Manchester United. He was on loan at Aston Villa last season. Uh, he could be a good option. Sepp van der Berg. New Liverpool signing. Another Dutch player to play. Um, maybe to be the future Van Dijk. Who knows? I'll have a look at him. See if he's loan listed. That would be interesting. And again, we will look in the championship to see if there's anyone that catches my eye. <coughs> I don't actually know if many players will catch my eye in this league. Actually, Le Marchand, uh, Le Marchand uh, was actually decent. He actually had decent stats in the last FIFA. Alfie Mawson, no. Uh... Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so at all. So anyway, the next one is midfielders. And we are going to look in each position because there might be some players that I just miss out. Uh, Leandro Bakuna. I will look at because he's always had some good stats, including that free kick stats and stuff. Got Jeff Cameron. Bit old now. Trevor uh, Shalaber, so it's uh, Nathaniel Shalaber's younger brother. Still, he's six foot three and nineteen years of age. He could be one to look at. Sam Field, I would be interested, in, but he's on loan at Charlton from West Brom this season. So you always have to look at each position. Unan O'Kane used to have some good stats when he played for Bournemouth. Uh, so I'll have a look at him. Harrison Reed, I believe, is on loan. Yeah, he's on loan at Fulham from Southampton. And that's it for CDMs. So now we look in the Premier League. We keep switching. Obviously, you guys can fast forward in the video um, if you don't want to look uh, see me look at players. I'm going to look at both Shalaber brothers. Why not? Jo uh, Jack Colback was on loan at Nottingham for Forest last season, and I believe the season before. Um, but I have no real interest in bringing him back. Scott McTominay probably is worth quite a bit actually I'll, I'll leave him Declan Rice I believe will be worth too much but I'll, I'm, I'll just want to have a look at him see what his stats are like this season okay Alexander Tetty is a good player the problem is he's 33 if he was about 28 I would look at him okay anyone that catches my low cup will be too much Gibbs White I'll have a look at. Young Prospect at Wolves. I wish Curtis Jones had would have his game face. I really wish that. Adam Lallana. Hasn't got the stats this year. John McGinn that started brilliantly this season and was brilliant last season for Villa. Okay, anyone else in the Premier League that catches my eye? I am not too sure there is, you know. There isn't. So, we will look in the Championship, which I believe we might have a bit more luck. I think there's a couple of players I can think of, at least, that I might look at. Like Joe Allen. You're probably thinking, oh, he's 29 years old, but he is British. And he's got 90 to 94 stamina. Which is fantastic. So he's definitely a player that I might be interested in. Um, who else? Jari is out on loan from Liverpool. Otherwise I'd be interested in him. Raheem Harper. 19 years of age. He does actually have his game face. So I will look at him. Uh, anyone else? I was kind of hoping there might be a couple more. That I, I could think of, but there isn't. So the next thing is Cam. Even though we might not technically play a Cam, they still can play centre mid. They maybe can play out the wing, depending on who they are. Isaiah Brown, it says he's been at the club since 24. That's a lie, because I believe he was at Leeds last, and then on the books at Chelsea. Tom Kearney, doesn't really have the greatest stats ever. Uh, Tom Ince, I'll have a look at him. He's never ever had like great stats though, Tom. Casey Palmer, I know, is a, another good youngster. I'd definitely be interested in. Got good stats normally. But I wonder if he's been derived the pace. I don't know. Uh, Phil Foden will be worth too much. Angel Gomez, I will look at because 
he's playing pretty decent in the games he's played for Manchester United this season. James Madison, that's the dream, that is, that is the dream. Okay, okay, so now we want to go on to wingers and wide midfielders. <clears throat> so again, we're going to look at right mids, left mids, right wings, left wings, and then strikers. So just bear with me, guys, bear with me. Jordan Ibe, I'm going to look at, because normally he's not too expensive on FIFA. And that would be about it. Harry Wilson, I would be interested in, if he want on loan... Um, at Bournemouth from Liverpool. Uh, we've got Andre Ayew. Ooh, 7 mil. Maybe not. Jared Bowen, I would be interested in. This guy, even though he's expensive, is decent. Jack Clark, who I believe signed for Tottenham, but has been loaned back for the season um, to Leeds. Very nice. Stuart Dun Dunnan has finally left Middlesbrough and he's joined Blackburn Rovers. Pablo Hernandez still has a very good card, but he is 34, so it's kind of pointless. Mendes Liang, I'd definitely be interested in. Obviously, English, he's a wing, but he's got good stamina, strength, and sprint speed on this game normally, so I would be interested in him. So, like, this is why I'm looking at the championship, because there's some gems in here that you probably wouldn't have thought of. Adam Armstrong, still young, very good player that's got great pace. Uh, Who else? Who we got in the championship? Tom Lawrence. I wonder if Tom Lawrence has ever had his game face. I'll have a look at him now. Uh, Wayne Routledge is too uh, old now, but I remember when he was at Swansea in the Premier League under Brendan Rodgers. He was a nightmare. He was a nightmare to play against. Bivar would be too expensive. Ryan Frazier is a brilliant player, but way too expensive. Daniel James obviously just left the championship to join Manchester United. Already scored three goals for them. Very nice player. Dwight McNeil, I know, has his game face this season. I'm look. I'm going to look at him. Um, Bukayo Saka obviously is caught the attention um, from a lot of people this season because he has actually put in a good shift. I've looked at left left wings. Okay. Okay, so the next one then is right wing and left wing. Let's have a look at them. Knockout. Mm. Kachunga. Okay, interesting, interesting. None really in the championship. What about the Premier League? I'll have a look at Chong. Exciting young talent. Callum Hudson Odoi, I'll look at, even though he probably will be expensive. Dharma Traore, like, I would happily look at him as well. Okay, left wing. Harvey Barnes, I don't believe he might have his uh, game face now. I know Damara Gray does. Gabriel Martinelli scored two goals for Arsenal last night in the Europa League. Fair play to him. Very well done to him. Izquierdo, I'm not going to look at. I think he'll just still be expensive. And now championship. Kadeem Harris has just joined from Cardiff, I believe. What happened to Leko? Has he gone on loan? Oh, he's a striker. Is he a striker for West Brom? He's gone on loan to Charlton. No, he was a go-to player in previous FIFAs. Okay. So we are actually going to look at the championship strikers right now. See if there's anyone that catches my eye. Charlie Austin just joined West Brom from Southampton. Very good sign, I would easily say. Patrick Bamford, possibly. Fraser Campbell. Not the greatest of names. There's Jonathan Lacko. Jordan Rhodes, I've always wanted to use in FIFA. I don't know why. Because I remember when he was... Was it Huddersfield where he just had one of the most insane goal-scoring records? I think it was, actually. Okay, championship. Not a great uh, turnout for strikers. So hopefully we can find a couple we'd like to 
Say, it says here, Tommy Abraham's listed for loan. Imagine if I get Tommy Abraham. Imagine. Rian Brewster, I am definitely interested in. Good young talent for it. Has great potential. Anyone else that catches my eye? Ian Acho, I'll have a look at, but I'm not holding out much hope for him. Uh, Lise Mousset was... I, I remember doing a uh, career mode on FIFA 17 or 18 with Nottingham Forest. Lise Mousset was actually very good. Just signed for Sheffield um, United there. Divo Carigi would be a bit too expensive. <laughs> Billy Sharp. Billy Sharp. Isaac Success, I'm interested in looking at. Same with Dominic Solanke, actually. Okay, there's a bit more options in the Premier League. That's that's good. I think we've got enough players in our shortlist now to really know sort of what sort of players. So, at the moment, we've got a big list. I just want to quickly scroll down and see if there's any that don't have their game face. <coughs> Shouldn't say look. Harvey Barnes. Harvey Barnes does. Interesting. Because uh, Callum Hudson, Adoy, and Adama Troyer have had theirs added this year, so I knew that. Same with Dwight uh, McNeil. Tommy Lawrence does. Okay. These players are new, did. So that's fine. Yeah, every single player of these actually does. That's crazy. We've got plenty of options then. All of them do. This is nice. Except Vandenberg. But I, I feel like I might sign him on loan if it had given the opportunity. This is interesting. This is really interesting. We have options, guys. Yep, everyone does. Okay, so now we need to scout them all. So the best way to do that is literally advance and we'll see what we can do. Obviously this episode is going to be quite long because it's all the admin stuff, but I might cut it up into two sections if it is too long, obviously you guys will know uh, at this rate. But anyway, we have some notifications and they are player chats, so we are going to have to talk. To These are all the players that I listed. So, uh, hey Gaffer, I wanted to say that I was a bit surprised to hear you wanted to sell me. I'm really, in uh, I've really enjoyed my football here, I wanted to say that I wouldn't move if I had the choice. So he's unhappy, but... the thing is I can't guarantee them stuff so their morale is actually just gone up from that so hopefully all of them are kinda happy with my decision so he was very unhappy and he went unhappy oh uh, Michael Dawson's greeting boss on behalf of the whole team I'd like to give you a warm welcome at Nottingham Forest uh, I'm excited about the future we've got work to do uh, nice to meet you too. Yeah, I'm excited for the future. So Michael Dawson's morale has gone up. So that's one thing I like about this. It's kind of like football manager now where you actually have conversations. You explain your reasoning. And most of them, I just can't guarantee them football. So we have our first bid in for one of our players that we don't want to sell. And that's Joe Lolly. 6.9 mil is interesting. <coughs> it says we can get up to 9.5 mil. But this season he is staying. I'm just going to block it. Straight block it so now no other bids for Joe Lolly will come in this season we're gonna carry on and see what happens we've got another bid in for Joe Worrell this time another player that I just don't want to sell so again we are gonna reject and block this one from Utrecht in the Eredivisie we should be able to get another training session in a sec okay we've got some more I'm guessing we've got some scout reports coming in yeah so we've got it back from Tammy Abraham Oh, I, I just saw then that there was a bid for Isaac Success. I, I shouldn't have deleted that then. Matty Cash, again, a player that I just don't want to sell this season. Tom Lawrence is in. Jared Bowen. Uh, Isaiah Brown. Joe Allen. Kieran Gibbs. Jack Butland. All in, uh, as in scout reports. Let's just do another quick simulation of the training. Joe Worrell, again, having a good week's training. Yates, so far, hasn't been too good. I'm not going to lie, not too good, but I want to see what's happening with the Isaac Success one. So at the moment, it's saying that there's a bid from Fire and Tina for him. He's worth 5 mil at the moment. Does he have stats to represent that? Probably not. So I'm not too fussed. I'm actually going to remove him from the shortlist. 
So we have um, Tammy. He's worth fourteen to twenty mil, but it crucially said that he is loan listed. So I am going to have my first interaction as Brian Clough with Frank Lampard. Okay, so Lampard is coming down to the training ground, it seems, and we are going to take a seat. So luckily the skip options are a lot quicker this time. Um, so we ideally want him for the year. Or do I try to get two years? Two years out of Tammy. Okay, sure, well, but have to let Abraham go for it. So they want a 60-40 split, so that means we'd have to pay quite a bit in wages. I think I'm going to counter that and go 50-50. 30k each. Okay, he would still want 60-40. You know what? An extra, an extra 6k. If we can get Tammy Abraham in, that would be fantastic. I'm actually going to wait for all the scout reports come in before I make a decision who I want. But also, we wait. Fingers crossed on Tammy. Let's see. Okay, nothing in yet. Jack Robinson. Why is it just... It's literally just players I don't want to sell this season. Interest shown in um, DeMar Gray of 9.2 mil. The thing is, if we bid 9.2 mil on someone, that's half our budget. Okay. So we've got Chong's in. Okay, we, okay I'm not going to say everyone's name. But I'm going to delete them off as we go. I'm looking down at the bottom of that scroll list in a sec. Abraham is loaned in. Wow. We have just signed Tammy Abraham on loan for two years. Tammy Abraham has accepted a two-year loan to the club. Tammy Abraham will be available for training and selection. And you can already include him in your plans for the next match. He will return to Chelsea as soon as his two-year loan expires. By which stage, I would expect his rating to be up. The reason why I chose two years over one year is because if I get if we get up this season, he would already be improved because he's a good striker that's still young, so his potential and like rating will go up, meaning he'll be even more expensive next season. Whereas in two years' time, we get a year out of him potentially in two different leagues. And then by which stage if we get in the Champions League we'll have more money to be able to maybe afford him if he's good enough for us. So it's it's interesting, you see. But we have a bid for Jao Carvalho. This is one of the players we do want to sell. It says we can actually get up to eleven point four million. So I'm actually gonna negotiate this one because I do honestly believe it would be imperative for us to try and get as much money as we can. So let's see if we can get anything over ten mil. I would be happy with 11 mil please 8.4 let's go down to 10 because potentially they might say okay we we know that you want to sell him okay yeah we don't want it to fall through 10 mil fantastic so that is good hopefully Carvalho actually does go to Buenos Aires now which was Boca Juniors in FIFA 18 but 19 onwards they don't have their official licensing I do believe we have quite a lot of the players scout reports. Okay. So one thing I am actually going to do, I'm going to take Yates out because he doesn't seem to train very well. And then we've got 21 year old Tammy Abraham on loan. That is a fantastic coup for this club. Signing Tammy Abraham on loan to Nottingham Forest. What a player. What a player. But anyway, we should have pretty much all our scout reports back now. And then we have to kind of whittle it down for players that we can sign this season. Because there might be a few that we can't actually sign this season for any reason. Carvalho has sold, so I believe we get about 8.5 mil for that. Because I think we get 85% of the thing. Oh no, we get 80%. Okay, that's still fine though. That is honestly fine. So, I believe we have all our... Um, options now so we can start looking at what we need so we do have Tammy Abraham as our striker we won't grab him to leave uh, ideally so we I think we need two strikers um, well we need three altogether two behind him I think we go Jordan Rhodes if we can sign him which we can as like an experienced pro and also as a youngster we get Ryan Brewster I think that's my option. Dominic Solanke, it says we can't sign him anyway. And I believe Ian Acho would be a bit too much. Yeah, he's, 
I think we can get both these in very cheaply. So I am going to do that right now. I've always wanted to use Jordan Rhodes for some reason. So I believe this could be interesting. Okay. I would like to put in a bid of one million pounds for Jordan Rhodes. I know he's worth 1.6. Okay, so that is fine. I think 1.1 mil for Jordan Rhodes. 29 years age, so still got an, um, a bit about him. Jordan Rhodes, welcome. I believe, though, he might want a important or crucial. I'd love to have him on rotation because it means that morale-wise, it'll be easier to, like... Get... Oh, rotation, perfect. That's honestly unbelievable. Two-year deal. You know what? I'm actually happy to give him a three-year deal because that will give him up to 32 years of age. I think that's honestly fine. No release clause. Wages-wise, that is fine, but I want to get rid of the appearance bonus. I don't mind the signing bonus. Okay, 19k. We can work with that. And we've got our first pers uh, permanent sign-in, and that is Jordan Rhodes. If we go on to here, there he is. Jordan Rhodes is now in the Nottingham Forest kit. And to see Tammy Abraham in the Forest kit for two years, 76 rating. Absolutely brilliant. And we're only paying 60% of his wages, which is nice. Let's get the strikers done. And let's bring in another permanent sign. One of my favourite youngsters in my uh, personal club. And that is Ryan Brewster. So this would be very nice to get him. So transfer fee. I think about 800k. So it's nice to have Jurgen Klopp come down to the training ground. 800k plus 2% sell on. Let's take that. Let, I, let's take that. Perfect. And now let's talk to Rian himself about the possibility. Hopefully, well, we should be able to get him on a prospect because he's not really high rated. Spradic. Spradic's fine, actually. Spradic or prospect works for me. Uh, how many years do you want to sign for us? I ideally, I'd like to have you on a solid contract of five years. Perfect. Absolutely perfect, that is. And you know what? I'm happy with that. So we have our three strikers. Rian Brewster. Jordan Rhodes and Tammy Abraham. Look at that. All British. Two of them youngsters. One experience. So like uh, Brian and Tammy can work, learn off uh, Jordan Rhodes. Which is fantastic. You know what guys? I'm actually going to end this episode here. Because we have set it up. And got to the point where we can start signing players. Um, and next episode we are going to carry on with that and potentially play the first game of the season. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed the first episode of Clough, this Nottingham Forest career mode series here on FIFA 20. If you have enjoyed, smash that like button. It shows me you're showing support for the series. And until next time, guys, goodbye.